New tonight at six residents of a South Fargo neighborhood are asking for the city of Fargo to put a stop to a house that they say is known for drugs and criminal activity, and they say it's been that way for years. Police and the Red River Valley SWAT team surrounded that house early this morning near Hawthorne Elementary at 924 Fifth Street South, arresting these four people. 38 year old Jeffrey Higdom, 33 year old Ronald Chasing Bear, 45 year old Jennifer Fay, and 41 year old Holly Parisian are in the Cass County Jail on open warrants and drug possession charges. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley spoke to a woman today who says she used to live inside that home and she says it falls on both the city and the community to fix the problem. In less than four years, the Fargo Police Department has responded to 169 calls for service at this house alone. And neighbors say large busts like Tuesday morning have been happening for several years. They constantly have different people just living there, moving in and moving out. A safe haven for addicts doing criminal things, so I can see why a lot of neighbors wouldn't want that there. A recovering meth addict, Paige says she lived in this house on 5th Street South for months, describing the house as a place people use to consume their drugs more than anything else. There's just a lot of addicts that come in and out of there. She says when she woke up Tuesday morning, she wasn't surprised to see police ended up at the home's cluttered front yard once again and says it won't be the last unless something changes, saying that change lies in the ability of both the city and the community to step up. The main thing would be to help the addicts, help the addicts living there and help the people in and out from there. If us as a community can support recovery more than we support an addict being a criminal, I think that would definitely change a lot. Every addict wants to be in recovery. They just have to figure out how to help their mental health before they can help their addiction. She says she agrees the home should be placed into the hands of different owners, but says without extending a helping hand to those who find a sort of safe haven in this house, the problem will just move to a different part of town. In Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. We're told that city inspectors say that they found mold as well as foundation, structural stability and wiring issues inside that home. It's now labeled a dangerous building, meaning no one is allowed to enter or live in the home until improvements are made. The property owner has 30 days to bring the home into compliance with city code, but officials say if after 30 days nothing is done, then Fargo City Commissioners can order the teardown of the building.